Happy Vending. Hi, I'm Bill. Welcome to Happy Vending. And today we're in New York City in front of the Brooklyn Dumplin' Shop, which is sort of a modern automat. Automats were food vending machines, sort of. They had a kitchen in the back and they would put food in little compartments and then people would come in, put coins in the compartment that they wanted to get the food out of and open up the door and get the food out. This is a modern version of that concept. The automats, you didn't order the food. You just looked in the openings and saw which food you wanted and then that's the one you got out. Here at the Brooklyn Dumpling Shop, you actually order the food on a kiosk, pay for the food on the kiosk, and then it tells you when your food is ready and then what compartment to go to and then you use your phone to open up that compartment. So we're gonna try this out. I'm here with my daughter. We're gonna get some food and see what it's like. Again, dine in. You want the combo meal, right, Emily? Go with this special. I'll show you something. Go with this special. This is what we are known for. So you have amazing kung pao. You have Korean barbecue, our number one seller. Lamb gyro, bacon cheeseburger, my favorite mac and cheese. You can have it too. It's either sear or crispy. You can do this as well. Go back into the combo here. You can create your spray with combos. Pick up these dumplings and see what I feel like. My daughter wants the pork with the white rice. What did you want there for a drink? The Kung Pao. I'm going to get white rice too. I'm going to get a fountain soda. Is that right? So what we're getting is the dumplings and broth combo, the pork with the white rice, and I'm getting a specialty, the Kung Pao chicken dumplings. And now we hit next. I'm gonna put in my phone number. We'll put in a 20% tip. Paid. So thirty-seven dollars for lunch in New York. I mean that's reasonable. They have a freestyle machine. I'm going with the barks. They also have beer here, where I guess you scan your driver's license and a credit card and you can pour your own beer. I think the guy that works here saw I was new to the process, so he came over and sort of tried to help me through it. He was showing me the most popular items. He was telling me that they were putting in a Korean pork item, but I never saw it come up on the menu, so I didn't get to try that one. But. I'm excited to try uh, the food that we did get. The receipt says, check the screen for your name and check number. When your order is ready, scan the barcode at the lockers. The screen will display locker number and open and close automatically. Now in the original automats, they would have a kitchen in the back and they were cooking up the food fresh, but you didn't get the custom order your food. Here, they make it based on when you order the food. So it's sort of making the food fresh here, and you get exactly what you want. The auto mats, you just looked in the windows and picked out what you saw look good. This place opened a couple years ago. Uh, it wasn't started because of COVID, but COVID certainly did help it because it's supposed to be a contactless 
environment. You order without anybody, you pay without anyone, and then a door opens up and you get your food, so you don't ever have to interact with any of the uh, workers. Although the worker did come over and help me because he kind of saw I was new to the operation. We got a text that the order is ready. Looks like the whole thing locked out. I don't know. I kind of think this is not ready for prime time. Must be an old version of Windows. Red ones are the hot ones, and then they have blue ones with cold stuff in it. This one's got ice in it. it. Looks like they're just using it as a refrigerator for stuff for the shop. Here's another cold one. Here's a hot one. The thing is still rebooting. No idea. This guy says they're updating the software. It's got to update the software before I can get my food. The old auto mats, you just put a couple nickels in and the thing would open up. The message that I got, he said, was a mistake. <laughs> that the food is still being seared, it's not quite ready, so I gotta wait uh, a couple more minutes here. It's not too hot in there. All right, thank you. Did you want a uh, chopstick? There's my daughter's pork dumplings with the, right, <laughs> the picture on the website had the rice heaping out the top and she didn't think it would be like that and she was right. I told you it'd be halfway full. <laughs> 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 but how much white rice do you need? I mean, my God. And here is my Kung Pao chicken. Here's the dumpling. Mine is seared. I'm going to dip it in this the sauce. It's actually very good. I mean, it's a little like a pierogi, not too spicy. It's, it's pretty tasty. How was yours, Emily? Good. Emily's eating the white rice right now. I'm going to try a bite of one of my daughter's pork dumplings. I think of wontons when I think of pork. It's pretty good. It's like a wonton almost. My daughter didn't want it back because I touched it. So now I get the whole dumpling. The guy that started the place just came over and offered to let us try the Korean barbecue dumplings, which I was, I was actually gonna order that, but it wasn't on the menu. I guess they hadn't added it to the menu yet. So he's gonna bring us over a couple for free. I guess he saw the camera. I guess it pays to have a big camera in the shop. These are the Korean barbecue beef, mm -hmm. and this is the mac and cheese, yep. and then these are your waffle fries. Exactly. Thank the peanut sauce are all you, so next time, I got you. Thank you. You got it, buddy. They gave us a huge container of waffle fries. Look at these things. First, I'm going to try the Korean barbecue beef, which is what I would have gotten if I saw it on the menu first. Wow. It's really, really hot. Oh, do you like it? This one is very good too. 
Very good. My daughter asked which one I like better. Let me get another bite of the Korean barbecue and then I'll decide. I gotta get one more bite. The Korean barbecue might be my favorite so far and then the uh, Kung Pao chicken and then my daughter's pork dumpling. But we also have a couple of the macaroni and cheese ones, so I gotta try that. This is the macaroni and cheese one. They told me when I came in that this one is one of the most popular here. They're all very good, but I would take the, the, the meat ones before the macaroni and cheese, but this is still good. And the waffle fries are also very good. But with dumplings, I do prefer rice over fries, but these are good. So which one is your favorite, Emily? Um, this one. Emily's favorite, her first favorite was the pork ones that she got. And then what? Um, the Korean barbecue. The Korean barbecue. She refused to try my Kung Pao one. She thought it'd be too spicy. But it really wasn't all that spicy. How was everything good? Very good. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. You guys take that? Have a good day. You too. <laughs> Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank yes. You. Thanks, for, thanks for coming by. How many locations do you have? So we have seven open now. We have another eight opening in the next six weeks. Uh, by the end of the year, we'll have about 19 stores open in, New uh, in America and Canada. And we have over 250 territories spoken for. Nice. So How many good. in the city? How many? We have one on the Upper East Side here, Staten Island, uh, uh, Queens Place Mall, Hoboken. and. Um, we have probably another another 10 opening in the tri-state area in the next 18 months. Excellent. Thank Thanks. you very much. I'm glad you very tried good. it. Good luck. I'm glad you took the recommendations. <laughs> Thank you. Well, we just got done eating in the Brooklyn Dumpling Shop. The food was excellent. As far as the vending aspect of it, I think maybe that's probably more of a gimmick than what is actually needed because, honestly, that didn't really even work, that, that part of it. Somebody had to come out and type in numbers to open up the doors. So, I mean, if you're interacting with people in there, which is fine now that COVID is over, maybe they don't even need the, the little doors. I mean, it's kind of neat if it were to work, but it's not like in the old days where they put in coins and they opened up the doors. So the vending aspect, probably more of a gimmick, but the food is very good. And that is what's most important. So if you're in New York, give them a try. Uh, it's definitely worth it. And as always, happy vending.